Hi, my name is uh, Michael Rosner. I lead the recommender system development team in Yandex. And this talk is about our system for personal recommendations. So this system is used in several services in Yandex. For example, here are our music and radio apps where we recommend to users some music that they probably like, either in the form of a feed or as a radio stream. Here is Market, Yandex service for product search, where we recommend best products to users trying to maximize user satisfaction as well as Yandex revenue. Another example is Zen, our new service. Uh, it's a personalized magazine where we try to recommend interesting web pages, articles, and news. So here are some key features of our system. First, it learns in real time, and that's very important, uh, especially when a new user comes to your site, provides some feedback, and you must show him very good recommendations right now to keep him using your service. Second, we use collaborative filtering when we process all users' history of actions to infer their common interests, together with content-based recommendations when we rely on items' properties. And we combine those approaches in several ways. Then we use not only history of actions on the service where we provide uh, recommendations, but also external history. For example, for Zen, we use users' web browsing history to select web pages for recommendations. We optimize several metrics. On some services, we optimize block CTR. Sometimes it's CPM, sometimes it's probability of a like or even higher order user retention. And sometimes we want to explicitly optimize for user for discovery. For example, we don't want to recommend all the same music to user, but we want them to discover something new. Now. Here is just a brief overview of our core ranking technology. I, unfortunately, I don't have time to cover all the interesting details. We use MetricsNet, which is Yandex highly optimized uh, implementation of gradient boosted decision trees, to combine all sorts of features. We have user features, item features, and user cross item cross contact features. For user features, we use other components, components that were already developed in Yandex, such as Crypto, which predicts uh, user age, gender, income, and interest. Item features always depend on the, on the domain. They are basically different for music, for movies, for products, and so on. But we generalize some of them and represent just as tags and use them in other components. As for the cross features, the most interesting part, uh, we have our own implementation of metrics factorization, which is uh, very efficient. It learns in real time. It uh, supports tags information. It supports implicit feedback and something more. And also, we combine all other features in various types of historical aggregates, such as average CTR of an item, average, um, average gender of uh, all the users who bought this item, average price of all the items this user has viewed, and many, many others. Uh, all those count features that Misha Blanco was talking about uh, yesterday, they're all here. Um, so this, uh, as you can see, this system is extensible. Uh, anyone can implement a new model and add it to the ensemble. And by using different objective functions for training MetricsNet, we can optimize different metrics for recommendations. Finally, here are some impressive results of applying our system in production. We, op we improved key metrics for these services. And we launched uh, a new service, Zen, uh, that is based entirely on recommendations from our system. That's it. If you want to listen to some more details about our system, please come to my poster. It's over there. And thank you.